Hello guys, this is Dr. Mora again with some videos. Today, we're going to learn how to make a surgical guy of one tooth in less than 15 minutes. It's actually pretty easy. Once you open your ST, your DICOM files, so the only thing that you will be needing is your STL file. So we're going to make an implant in the lower. So we drag the STL model into the DICOM file, into the software. You click that is the mandible that you are trying to match and automatically make the alignment of your STL and your DICOM files in the lower jaw. Obviously, you need, they need to match exactly. For example, if you made an extraction here, well, you need to take another CT because if not, you will have to make your um, alignment of the model manually or it won't be very accurate. So it's better that always your files match exactly. So the software can do it by yourself and you don't have to make any uh, manual adjustment. You had any more options, but we're not gonna talk about them today. Let's continue to the implant part. So. The first thing that you need to do in the lower jaw is to detect the nerves. So let's go here and let the software auto detect the nerves. The software will make a reading of the DICOM files and will detect where the nerves are. So you can see, sorry. So you can see that the nerve already detected the, ner the, the nerves here, the, the software already detected the nerves here. So, we are ready to go and place our implant. The next step is to add an implant. If you know your implant brand and everything, you can search in the catalog, but the implant that I'm using is Hyosen. So it doesn't, they don't have it here. So let's remove this. I'm sorry, I floating controls. So I, we're going to use a four by 10 and we're going to tell him it's in demandable. So you click okay and then with this, um, Gizmo here, you click on with your left click of the mouse here and you place the right angulation following the, the root that is near to them, okay? This tooth seems to be a second premolar. It's kind of big space here, but yeah, I think it's a lower premolar. This is your canine, this is the second, sorry, this is your canine first premolar and second premolar, so yes. So the next step is going in this view and you start seeing if the implant is inside the bone. You can see it's outside the bone here. So you drag it with your left click of the mouse and you place it in the right position. I think here is pretty good. If you have doubts, you can measure the, the, the distance between the bone and the implant. Here is pretty good and then you remove your measurements, okay? So you have your implant in the right position. You then check the occlusion of the implant. Obviously, I mean, you need to have an idea. For example, you can go here with the STL model, you go in surface, you, you remove your DICOM files and you check if you have it centered. You can move it with this gizmo here you make it a little bit buckle because I think it won't go with the alignment. So make it a little bit more buckle. Then you go again and you check here. How is it? Okay, so we can see here it's almost it's outside of the bone. So we went a little bit far away. Maybe here will be okay. Let's double check with your STL files again. Maybe a little bit more mesial. Then we go again, you can check on the kind of panoramic view here to see the distance between your roots. You can measure here again. It looks pretty good. I don't need to measure, but if you have doubts, you can do it. It's pretty far away. The nerve is pretty far away. I think the implant is a little bit, let's remove all of the clear. Okay, it's a little bit uh, inside the bone. But if you check here, sorry, in this view, if you place the implant a little bit higher, you might have bone resorption here because it's too close to the bone. So it's better if we leave it a little bit deeper, okay? So if you're ready, if you're happy with the, with the planning here, the only thing next to do is to 
go to search to implant implant list you go to your guide tube and over here your guide tube you make i already know that this uh, the burst of the drill kit is has a has a wider of five millimeters so you need to go around 0.10 to 0.15 even 0.20 more than the wide of the um burst of your drilling so the height the height will be how high you want this how how high you want this guide tube and your offset will be the distance from let's remove this the offset will be the distance from the platform of the implant to the highest part of your guide tube. So I know this that is on with highest and implant is 10.5. So this distance will be your drilling distance. And let's let's go then to again place this so I can see how much high I can give to the guide tube. So now I think around six will be fine. There you go. You can even go 6.5 and there you go. You have your planning ready. You can also check with the upper model. Let's see if we have it here. You drag it again. It's pretty easy. You just drag it and you click on man maxilla. The software again will the teeth or the structures in the upper jaw and it will make the alignment automatically. It's pretty easy, pretty simple actually. So over here we see how the implant will, the future crown of the implant may occlude. So it looks pretty good. I like it. I like it a lot. So then you go to guide panel, you can remove here the upper jaw, sorry, control CETA, if you make a mistake, maybe you can go a little bit buccal or maybe just given a little bit of pork, we could say. It looks good there. Then you draw the curve of, or of where your, let's block the implant. You, you just draw the curve of where your your implant guy will end. So with shift and your left click of the mouse, you just make your limitations. And now I think I went a little bit too far here. You don't need to add all of this part. You can even go all the way to the tooth, but it, I'm just showing you. So let's make it like that. The surgical guy, and the guide is ready. It will take 10 to 15 seconds, depending on the machine you have to create the guide. And the next is just to download the guide from the software, and I will show you how it's easy. And you have your guide done. That's it. You go to implant list, surface, sorry. You remove this, your STL file, and there you have it. Next step, export data. Okay, let's, okay. And over here, the only thing that you need to export, you don't need this or this or this even because I already have it. You just click, I don't have any export right now. I need to buy more. You just export and save it, whatever you want. And you'll have your surgical guide ready for printing in whatever 3D printing you want. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. And we'll see you again in another video of digital dentistry.